can provide for you. I can protect you. I can give you an unconditional infection. I'll do your taxes. I'll handle your clients. I'll clean the house. I'll cook you amazing food. I'll shower you with love and also give you the space you need. I'm not lying about that. Don't you want someone to cuddle and tell you it's okay? Why is she kind of selling me, though, a little bit? Like, she don't look half bad, you know? She don't look bad herself, and she just tell me everything I want to hear. Tell me more, baby. What else are you going to do? <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Let me calm down with my gray sexual. What? Um, edit and kill me here. No intro. We just getting right into the video. Um, where we last left off on nothing special. We got the bad ending. So here is me going back and getting the good ending. And the dialogue does change entirely. So here we go. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go back. I'm, I guess, eat the food. That's the only thing that's different. So let let's. Okay, we're gonna see if I eat the maggot-filled oatmeal, if that changes anything. I must have imagined it. Open up. There it is again, the tingling. What's wrong? You don't like it? I can feel it clearly. Something is crawling on my tongue. What is she feeding me? I told you, I have nothing else right now. There is definitely something moving. Well, it's some maggots, we already know that. Picky eater, hmm? Oh, I take a closer look at the bowl. Those are maggots. I'm eating live maggots. They're crawling around on my tongue. They're different size. Yeah, okay. I have to gag. Are you gagging? Is it that bad? I have to get them out now. Don't you dare puke in my room. I won't let you. Her hands cover, are covering my mouth forcefully. The maggot soup is dripping off my face. She squishes the insects against my skin. I can feel the wiggling inside and outside my mouth now. You're going to swallow that? I I have no choice. I just want them to stop moving. I start chewing on them. Ew, no matter how hard I chew, I can't kill all of them. Many are too small. No, I can't swallow them alive. I will feel them going down my throat. Ew. C come on, swallow right now or I'll make you eat this through your nostrils. I have to do it, damn it. Ugh. I'm usually unaware of how the food moves down my- Oh, that's- Okay, okay we're just gonna skip to the end and see if we get anything different. Oh, she's a little bit more sympathetic. I know this must have been horrible and painful and very lonely. And you must have been scared and are still scared. You must be terrified of me. I treated you so poorly. I know I was unbelievably rude. It's just I'm stressed, really stressed. I'm not used to this responsibility. I'm not usually like this. I could be really kind. I'm sorry. You had to see the worst of me. I never wanted it to turn out like this. It's crazy hearing that in this situation. I know. You're right to think that. I would do the same. This is you already think that of me. Allow me to be honest. I care more about you than you think. I honestly want you to be happy. I believe you're unbelievably smart. It must have been so hard since most people are idiotic. Knowing that nobody will ever truly understand you, it's awful. Is she trying to flatter me? Cause she's doing a really good job, baby girl. What? what? What else, baby? What else? Tell me more, tell me more. And I'm not saying this to imply we're the same. We're not. I can never understand. I can only speculate. You're better than me. You're amazing. Why does she talk like she knows me? If you give me a chance, I can prove it to you. Let's start over, all right? I can be better. I will be better. You won't have to be scared anymore. And in return, I kindly ask you to be better as well. To be calm and hear me out and not to inconvenience us both. What do you think? You want to try being friends? What choice do I have? Uh, okay. Great! As a sign of my trust, I will do you another favor. She pulls out the knife and moves it closer to my skin. I pat but realize she, she's trying to cut the zip ties. Blech. Maybe I should have brought scissors. Hold still for a moment. Here you go! The zip ties have been removed and I can move freely. I only now realize how painful my limbs were. Moving them is almost impossible. I'm unsure if I should be relieved or not. Her behavior doesn't make sense. I hope that shows you that I don't want to hurt you. I trust you without betraying me. 
You can finish up showering yourself. Please take, do take off those dirty clothes, though. I have new ones right here, and I won't look. Let me know if you need help. Oh, this is like... A, a, almost like a complete 180 from, like, the... My version <laughs> that I got. Ew, I don't want to eat no damn maggots, but... I guess, I guess that, that's what gets her going. That's what gets her going. She backs off and leans on the wall, pulling out her phone to look at it. It uh, doesn't make me any more comfortable, but it's best to get clean for my sake. I take off my clothes while sitting in the bathtub and finish up with the shower. All done? Yes. Here are your, the clothes. They might be big, too big for you. They aren't mine. Not hers? Can you put it on in the bathtub or should I help you out? I'll do it myself. Of course. Also, you shouldn't try to stand on those feet. That's a bad idea with frostbite. I'll try not to. Okay, okay. I managed to put on the clothes. Are you done dressing up? I put on my pants hastily and try to get out of the bathtub. What are you doing? Hold on, I'll help you. She comes over and helps me sit down on the bathtub edge. Just ask me for help next time. You barely talked to me. Hmm. Remember how much you talked when we first met? You want to shut up, begging and screaming, call me every name in the book? Haha. <laughs> ah, uh, wait, sorry. I shouldn't joke about this. I understand why you're not in the mood to talk. You're probably exhausted. It's not like I miss the insults, it's just... I just like to hear you talk more. It makes me sad to see the energy leave your eyes. And I like your voice. I'm... Tired, baby girl. I'm tired. I understand. You can go to bed a little later. I want to spend some time with you first. Hmm. I'll carry you to my room since you can't walk at all. Oh, this is different. She, she, she gonna carry me? You should know by now. I'm actually pretty strong. Well, yeah, she punched a tooth out and, you know, so she must be. I don't know. Baby girl must be jack going to the gym something. I don't know. Drinking protein shakes. Something. Hold on tight, or I might drop you. You have enough injuries already. Putting her arms around my torso, she picks me up with ease. Even though I'm not very light at all, she's carrying me like it's nothing. This is getting strange. Back to my room. I'll drop you on the bed. She puts me on the bed, notably gentle this time, and goes to sit in the gaming chair. I hope you're comfortable. How do you like my room? It's all right. It's different with the red. I've never seen red walls before. Thanks. I'm sure my choice of decoration didn't fly over your head. You should be proud. I love everything you do. It's amazing. You really are something else. Your work has helped me so much. I can't begin to describe it. How? I only draw anime girls. That's kind of hot. Hey, I just got to see what I do. I don't know if y'all knew, but uh, go check out my uh, art page, okay? Thank you. Willow, there you go, go again. How's at the bottom when I discovered it? You saved me. You really did. But you must hear that a lot, and it must be so annoying. Anyone can just say that. I might sound like just another fan, but trust me, I'm not. She surely isn't just another fan. <laughs> yeah, a homegirl, like, kidnapped a, a sis, though, okay? You must think I'm completely crazy. Hmm. I should keep my admiration down. I know it makes me look pathetic. How could you like someone who is pathetic? It's hard to control myself. I must try my best. Hmm. I really relate to your characters. They're an extension of you, right? Artists always put a lot of themselves in their characters. I know that much. Only a really complicated person can fit so many, so much personality in so many characters. At least, I think so. I mean, it's really easy to write them. Make special characters seem kind of shallow, but that's not important. You make them seem deep, and they're fragments of you. So, I am interested in you. People say you should separate the author from the work, but... How is that possible? It's all you! It says so much about you! You can't hide anything from others! And I confirmed it! I know everything... You ever posted online and it fits. It aligns with your character's way of thinking and personalities. Say what you will, they're all you. You look like you don't believe me. Tell me, don't you lose love for media when you find out the author was an awful human being? Don't you look down on someone's art when you find out they also have a weird fetish account? Don't you think about the singer's life when they sing about their burdens? It is impossible to completely separate the work from the creator. You must accept that. 
You know, that is very true. She, she, see, like I said, she dropped gems in there, you know? By creating things, you put pieces of yourself out in the world, and I found them. The moment you made your first post, that was the moment you exposed yourself. But you know all that because you feared it, as you should. It's a bad idea to expose yourself to so many people, but then again, if you hadn't, we'd have never met. In the end, I'm glad things turned out the way they did. The doubts I had, they were overwhelming. We all have doubts sometimes, right? Heh, <laughs> I almost changed my mind about you. It must have been the stress. I almost... Things could have gone so wrong. Oh, do you want to know what my favorite character of yours is? It should be pretty easy to guess. I'll show you. This one! It's obvious why, isn't it? We're identical. It's like you're my soccer or something. I'm about to say, we look exactly the same. Or we look. Her and, and, the, and my drawing look exactly the same. There's nothing that stands out from the design. When I saw that, I was shocked. Technically, you should be amazed about meeting me. I made me feel really connected to you. As if it's fate, you know? I knew I had to know more about you. I can't believe this is what got her interested in me. Oh, believe it, baby. Believe it. That's when I messaged you for the commission. I talked to her before? No way. I only drew her twice and never gave her a name. We'll have to ch change that. Since she's pretty much me. You should name her after me as well. My name's Olivia. I'm about to say, what even is your name, baby girl? Olivia is a very fitting name for her. She looks like an Olivia. You can dress me like that if you like. I don't know what to say or think. You're very... in your head. I can imagine what you're thinking. I'm sure you're curious why you're here and what my goals are. And maybe you hate me. A lot. Oh no. What? Babe. She stands up from the chair and sits down beside me. I look at the ground. How could she be so confident I won't attack her? She doesn't even seem to be carrying the gun she had in the forest. I guess she really... She is relying on her strength and the knife in her pocket. Despite what you might think, I'm really not some kind of evil villain planning to kill you. If I'm being honest, I don't even have a plan. I really don't. I'm someone who follows my own instinct, what my heart tells me. This is embarrassing, but I think you're in the right place here with me. Do you know what I mean with this? Is she like confessing to me? Like, baby girl, I know you want me, baby. I know you do. It's fine. I put stupid things in my head and I was bad to you. It was a mistake. We all have those inner struggles, right? They won't win anymore. I won't let the bad thoughts take me over. No doubts. No rumination. I think when things calm down and we settle into a stable environment, you will really like me. Listen, I... I really like you. Oh, look at her blushing. Uh, baby girl, I knew you liked me. Okay, you wouldn't be doing all this if you didn't. What? But how do I feel about this? Obviously, if this was IRL. If she kidnapped me IRL. Man, I just play along till I get the f*** out of there. She's crazy. I really like you. In, in a romantic way. Oh, baby. Are we about to kiss? She locks her eyes with mine and seems eagerly to eagerly await a response. I am too speechless to say anything or think straight. I... I might be what you have been missing in your life. Oh, damn. She confident? What? She's like, I know why you depressed, baby. It's because I ain't in your life. Though. What? Damn. You're lonely. Are you not? Uh, other people, they will. Other people will disappoint you with stupidity, with being untrustworthy or abusive. I know you. I'm the only one who knows. I can provide for you. I can protect you. I can give you an unconditional infection. I'll do your taxes. I'll handle your clients. I'll clean the house. I'll cook you amazing food. I'll shy you with love and also give you the space you need. I'm not lying about that. Don't you want someone to cuddle and tell you it's okay? Why is she kind of selling me though a little bit? Like, she don't look half bad, you know? She don't look bad herself and she just tell me everything I want to hear. Tell me more, baby. What else are you going to do? <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Let me calm down with my gray sexual. What? And don't you want that someone to know you inside out? Someone smart? 
A person you can trust? Someone who can remove your burdens? Someone who makes sure harm never comes your way? No other stranger can provide you with anything meaningful? This is your only chance! I admit, I didn't have much hope before, but I believe in this. Not every deep bond starts off great, but we can make it happen. I'm determined. I want us to create a special bond. D don't you? Oh, what? D don't you? I look up at her. Yes. Am I saying this because I actually do? Or like, I guess we'll, we'll see. <gasps> I'm glad. I'm so glad. I'm happy we see it the same way. I was so worried you wouldn't forgive me. I appreciate you. She moves in closer and wraps her arms around me. I flinch. Shh. It's okay. She hugs me very tightly. Let's lie down. Oh? What? She pulls me into the bed and we both lie down together. Calm down. I have to calm my breathing. She can't feel my heart rate. It's been a while since you were in a bed. Make yourself as comfortable as you like. Hopefully my warmth helps you to heat up. When was the last time you laid in bed with someone? I imagine it was long ago. It's been a while for me too. I wish I could stay like this forever. I have any problems or worries. Hmm. You're so cold, but I don't mind. It's still comfortable. Hmm. She fallen asleep? Oh, she's sniffing me? I miss this. It's not fair. It's not? No matter what I do, nothing works out for me. It's all for nothing. I feel like I'm going mad. It's like I'm stuck in a time loop of agony. The memories never go away. Time doesn't heal at all. I try so hard. So hard. I try more than anybody else, but it never pays off. And yet I get up every time, no matter how hard I was punched down. I give my whole life everything and it's never appreciated. I'm treated like trash. But that's their loss. It's on them. They never deserved my kindness. Why did I waste my time with them? It's embarrassing. Oh yeah, she definitely got some trauma, baby. Talk talk it out. Talk it out. I'll lend you an ear, whatever. I don't really have much of a choice, do I? But I learned. I learned so much. Things I had never known otherwise. So it's okay. I'm the best version of me. Thanks to my experiences. Ah. Uh, I'm being more open than I should. We're not there yet. Sorry about dumping this all on you. You barely know anything about me. Things are hard for me, so you must forgive me for not always being so being composed. Uh, is she going crazy? I. What the f what? is happening? My thoughts are racing. It's like time stopped. The knife is in her abdomen. I can't tell how deep it is. Oh, she's at herself. Oh, what? I'm terrified, but I can't die here. I don't know if I hit anything vital. She's still in shock. Oh, I did it. I did it. Oh. How many seconds have passed? Oh, you pissed her off. Ah! She's trying to suppress the scream while trying to get a grip on the knife. I can't let that happen. I quickly slide out of her and stab her again, and this time aiming higher. It seems to slide off the rib cage and only penetrate the skin and muscles. Oh, I feel disgusted, but I can't stop. I can't hesitate. It's my life or hers. I have to kill her. Ah! She's trying to wrestle with, wrestle me with all she has and is holding onto my arm. The ribcage was a bad idea. I only know one other place that will kill her for sure. The heart, the head, this one, the neck. You should have gone for the head. But I have to get her to loosen her grip. She's too strong to break free. What? With my right thumb, I press into her left eye socket. She swiftly uses her other hand to get me off of her face, which allows me to roll on top of her. This distraction is enough to make her let go of the knife, though. Now she has a grip on both of my arms. There's only one thing left to, to try in this position. With all that I have, I throw my head against her face, going for the nose. As, her bone, as our bones collide, I feel a dull pain echoing through my skull. Everything is spinning, the impact is reverberating in my head and neck. I'm unsure if I managed to break anything, but I feel her grip loosen as she cries out in pain. I use the opportunity to rip my 
arm out of her grip. My life depends on this strike. If I mess this up, I'll die. With every ounce of strength I have, I slash it into her once again. Ah! I feel everything. I feel the knife entering every layer, each one being more resistant. Starting at the collarbone and burying itself deep in, into the lower part of her neck. That's it. Not the part I was thinking of, but it should be- it should work. There's no way I didn't hit anything vital. She stops struggling, the knife is buried deep in her neck. She stares at me, lifeless. Her grip being as tight as ever, but not showing any other movement. Oh, damn. Her mouth is filling with blood as she makes attempts to breathe. Her lungs expand and contract, but to no avail. It's sad to see her body struggle like this, desperately trying to stay alive. I look down at the wound and realize how much blood is flowing out of it, despite the knife still being inside. It's all over her chest and me. It's very warm. Should I take the knife out? Suddenly I hear something. Shit, shit, someone's coming up the stairs. I forgot about the person, what do I do? They are friends, right? They might have a gun, I need to protect myself. I wonder how important sh she is to that person. I might be able to... Carefully, I slide out the knife, leaving a stream of blood to fall down her torso onto the bed. I pick her up and position her in front of me, her back shielding me from possible bullets. Unless they use a high caliber, but they wouldn't shoot her, right? I suppose they would if they knew she was dead, but they don't. They're standing in front of the door, probably waiting to get some kind of response from her. I lift the knife and bring it to her neck. My hands are very bloody, so I can't get away with pretending I didn't stab her. Her chest is still moving. How long does it take for someone to die from this? Is she I think that means I think that meant to be she. Is she still alive? Is she aware is she what is she aware of what's happening? Oh what? the door slammed open, a man with a gun pointed at us standing in front of the door frame. His expression turns terrified the moment he sees her. What have you done? She's still alive. Put the gun down or I'll kill her. The man stands there motionless, his gun still aimed at us. He seems to be staring at her. I said put the gun down. Reluctantly, he lowers his gun and puts it on the ground. He must have seen her muscle spasms. This is good. Really good. Don't what? touch her. Listen, she's passed out from the blood loss. She's dying. If you want her to survive, you have to call the ambulance right now. He sends her again. This is a matter of seconds. You have to get her an ambulance right now. What? Who is he? Like her brother, maybe, or something? Finally, he pulls out the phone and starts dialing. This is awkward. What are we doing? Hello? I need an ambulance right now. My friend was stabbed. She's bleeding out. She's 4208 Diane Street. She's lying upstairs. She's dying. Listen. Yes, a girl stabbed her. She's here in the room. Oh, so I am a female. Oh, so... Oh! Oh, yeah, she liked me. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> No, I don't know her. That doesn't matter. Just send an ambulance. No, no. <sighs> he seemed to hang up in the middle of the conversation and paces around the room nervously. What? Damn it, Olivia. How could this have happened? We're already under investigation. Why only now? What? You ruined everything. He picks up his gun. My heart starts racing. I'm leaving. You're going, out. You're going to wait for the ambulance. And if, if she dies, I'm what? coming for you. Remember that. Before I can respond, he storms out the room and runs downstairs. A wave of relief washes over me. Is it over? Is it really over? Is he really gone? How am I still alive? Should I be worried about this threat? His threat? Should I try to stop her bleeding? That wouldn't do anything. She's already dead. The entire bed is drenched in blood and it's pulling on the floor. Maybe it'll look better in the court case that's about to unfold. I'll probably be labeled a murderer. Oh, well. I can't bring myself to care right now. I'm just happy to have escaped this alive. I lie here. I don't know for how long. Minutes? Hours? Who knows? Eventually, I hear faint sirens outside. That must be them. I made it. I can't believe I, I made it. I look up at the ceiling. There might be a corpse on top of me, but that's of no concern to me. I can worry about it all later. For now, I am safe. Exhaustion overwhelms me, and I close my eyes. Good ending. Enough. Oh, okay. Good ending because I live. Who is he? Probably her brother or something. Um, interesting. Interesting. All right, baby Tanjiro, bring me in.
Alan Town Invite. All right, y'all. That was nothing special. Uh, got the two endings. Uh, there's only, you know, only the only difference is like a choice. You have to actually eat the maggot-filled oatmeal. Uh, if you spit it out or if you don't, then you get the bad ending. Um, honestly, I was not expecting that the 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 good ending. I was not expecting us to be the ones to like stab her. I thought like I thought it was gonna be like some some uh what is that? When you fall in love with your kidnapper. I forgot the term for it, but I thought like we were gonna like fall in love with her or whatever. And we are female, so you know she you know, she wanted this, but what the fuck? It's fine. <laughs> but um actually that was pretty dope though. That was that was I don't know, that that was dope. Editing kill me here again. After watching that through, I, is it bad? I feel I feel bad for Olivia. Like I feel kind of bad for her. She's most likely dead. Yeah. I feel kind of bad. Hmm. Yeah. Um. It was made by yeah Pen Pill. Uh. Good job. Love the storytelling. My throat is sore. I can't be doing these uh games where I have to like talk a lot because it gets tiring so fast. But. I really like it. I really like the artwork. I really like how like she, she uh, Olivia was animated and like you know I don't know. I really I really liked it. I really liked it. Um, but yeah. Remember, which is practice safe hex and be careful what you wish for. Deuces.